Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll get one card here as your overall theme or two. All right, you guys got new love and getting to know each other. As a new person has ro stirred your romantic feelings, and as you reveal your innermost to each other your bond deepens all right so you guys are dealing with new love all right Vir Taurus Virgo Capricorn your guys's first card out is the three of wands so <clears throat> waiting for Waiting for things to turn around is what I'm hearing. Um, your next card out is the Ace of Cups in reverse and the three or two of Pentacles. Bottom of your deck is Judgment. So you could have a fire sign waiting for you to move towards them. You could be manifesting um, what you desire to come in. After an emotionally draining relationship where you were being juggled, you felt like you weren't getting enough attention, you felt like they weren't putting in enough. Um, also, there could be, or you could be waiting for somebody to return after they leave a relationship that is emotionally draining. There's your Two of Cups. So yeah, you're coming to the end of a relationship, acknowledging that, you know, I went to be down, sorry. Acknowledging that it's just not working anymore. We also have the Magician here and the Two of Wands. So... Bottom of your deck is the Queen of Wands, clarified with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. And then the Eight of Wands. Communication, we'll take it. So most definitely you could be moving towards a fire sign, um, earth signs. I feel that either you've been waiting for them or they've been waiting for you for a really long time. Up to three years for some of you. Um... But there's still this emotionally draining situation in your central issue that is still in your life, still making an impact on you moving forward. You're back and forth trying to figure out what to do. One day you want to go, one day you should stay, the next day you don't know, and so on and so forth. It's like a constant struggle um, trying to figure out what is it that you truly want. Um, I do feel that a soulmate, either you're waiting on a soulmate or they're waiting on you to leave this emotionally empty situation. One of you is manifesting though. Um, either you're manifesting them or they're manifesting you into uh, a relationship. Let's get let's get some more cards out here. Why is the three of who's the three of wands here? Because one of you is waiting and manifesting and sitting here holding or you know waiting for you to come take this wand or you are to them. Oh. Wow. This is a big offer coming in for you earth signs. When you allow a major life cycle to come to a completion, when you get out of this energy that is very combative, very, very, like a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, um, even some cold shoulders, you know, ignoring each other. If you're not ignoring each other, you're fighting with each other. That is a situation that needs to be let go of so you can move forward and offer your cup. 
Um, you know it's going to break somebody's heart or, or somebody's worried about breaking yours. But this is manifesting, bringing this completion in. Could be with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. But this is going to bring in a huge offer. Either you're preparing to give this offer to somebody or to make it. Um, but this must be released first. The universe is trying to show you an opportunity um, to this situation to get to where you're you're wanting to be, but you're ignoring it. You're you're focused on money, focused on uh, you know, it's like you're only or somebody is only worried about either how this is gonna look to you know people, friends, family. Um, and they're also worried about the financial situation. Yep, there's the financial situation. But there is a big change coming because you have two fives on the ground. Why is this two of cups here? Yeah, it's calling for you to, to move forward and invest in yourself. Invest in your own happiness. To um, work on yourself, focus on yourself, and to leave behind anything that has been draining for you. Man, my spread, it just got really messy over here. I'm just, I just got cards everywhere. What's this juggling about? You could have had a third party or you could be part of a third party. And that's why you can't make an offer to anybody because you're trying to decide who to give that offer to. Even though you know the situation that you are in is, is over, you're having a hard time releasing it. Oops. You could be sending a message to this person though, letting them know that you are ending this cycle. It looks like you're getting out of a karmic cycle here, um, taking your lessons and moving forward. Um, coming to this crossroads um, in your situation, but moving forward, um, going after your blessings, going after what you know you want and deserve. Yeah, purging out everything in your life that does not fit your your plan for the future so you can move forward offering this cup could be a scorpio you're dealing with um with your bottom of the deck you have the queen of wands so somebody is very there's somebody that you're very attracted to because remember your cards are all about new love getting to know each other so there's somebody that you're wanting to move towards somebody you're wanting to give this offer to um, could be a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius because this is your future energy. All this is your current energy. So at the bottom of the deck, it's always the future um, for me anyways. That's how I read. So this is what you're moving into. This is your new love. But you have to release this karmic cycle that you've been going through over and over and over again with this person. But the good thing about the devil in the reverse with death, it's transformative. You're transforming into who you're meant to be, who you want to be. So you can really look in the mirror and be proud of what you're looking at. There's been so, uh, so much toxic energy around you um, with this past relationship that you almost lost your identity. It's like, who am I anymore? I'm so used to, you know, being what everybody else wants me to be. Who am I? That's going to be a thing of the past. You're transforming and going through this rebirth process so you can really have the confidence in yourself to move forward and go be in this relationship with this new love. To get to know each other on a whole new level. <clears throat> if you guys haven't met already, you will within the next week or two. If you've met this person already, you're going to get to know each other on a whole new level. Um, if you've been with this person already, it's even going to be a deeper level. Because the two of you are not the same as what you were when you separated. Clarifying this Queen of Wands, the Justice and the Four of Wands, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. So you see happiness and stability when you see this person. By following your heart and going towards this person, towards this new love, it's going to bring a whole new sense of stability for you within the home, within your heart, within your soul, bringing you this emotional joy, bliss. And having the, the finances, the abundance to go with it, you're very, I see you're very fearful of moving forward with your, you know, without your finances. This is somebody that you, this is somebody I feel you have been with in this lifetime. 
you know that getting this divorce or separation is going to break your other person's heart, but you're moving forward anyways. You're leaving the toxic relationship behind. And I'm not saying that this person is a bad person. It's to It became toxic because it's been held on to too long. Um, because it's been held on to so long that Ace of Cups is in reverse. So you're emotionally drained. But you know that leaving this person is going to break their heart. But you have to go for for you you have to go for your own happiness your own stability your own joy you have a, a huge opportunity being given to you here earth science what's this ace of wands about there's a lot of passion between the two of you a lot yeah you will you will move towards this new opportunity, this new beginning um, where you can create creatively and passionately move forward after you take some time to heal from that three of swords um, because you are going to walk away with that five of swords. The relationship with this fire sign is going to be very successful. Um, this person is also very popular. Um, could be in the public's eye, could be a government official. They're just very well known and very well loved. They could be a healer as well and very successful at it. Like people seek them out. Why is the six of wands here? But there's something about a financial opportunity that you will have by moving forward with this person. Um, we'll see what that is. Yes, this is a past life soulmate. This person, their love for you has never ever been questioned they see everything when they look at you they love you like nobody has loved you before and you feel that and that's why this connection has been so strong and that's why it's been so hard to open or you know to leave it's hard to leave the person you're with but the person you're going towards is everything you've ever wanted you are going to open up communication with this person i do feel you had blocked this person in the past or ghosted them um Wow. Okay, so there's quite a few here, but so you're going to open up communication with this person um, because you're getting a wake up call. You're like, oh my God, I love this person. You could feel that this person is moving on, um, moving towards somebody new. And all of a sudden it's like, I can't lose them. I need them. Very much so. Um, you know it's going to be a lot of work, but you're willing to do it. You're willing to put in the time to make this work. Two eights, that's the time is now. Eights are movement. Um, and you're going to let this person know, I'm coming. Don't move on. Heavy Sagittarius here um, with following or ending up with the temperance. So um, this person brings you balance, brings you peace, brings you happiness, bliss. But it also stirs fears. Um, being, you know, the unknown future scares the shit out of you. Let's see where this is ending up. Yep, you're going to make an offer to this person. Some things are going to come out. Your path is going to be illuminated to this person. You're unknown of the future, but it's okay because the night is going to follow the sun. It's going to um, be a lot of push and pull, but you're going to make it. The The Knight of Pentacles is the only one that crosses the finish line. And when they do, they offer that, or you offer this, or you receive this. I'm um, coming out of this time of delay, Earth Science, and taking that leap of faith. So, most definitely you are moving towards that new love. Whether you've been with them in this lifetime or not, the two of you will be totally different people than what you were before so allow that transformation allow that toxic energy to escape you and go follow your heart or science i hope you guys have a beautiful blessed day see you later